you know that Christopher Columbus, the explorer who is held in high regard in some places in the United States of America, once fed a child sex slave live to his dogs. Whoa, okay, I think you've jumped from zero to a hundred here pretty quickly. Why have you gone from exploring to sex slavery? Yes, of course. Well, he had a quota of gold that the natives need to mine, and when they didn't, which was very often, he would sell their children into sex slavery or crucify them upside down. Well, not all natives could have been involved in the mines, could they? There must have been others that were involved in different ways. Oh, you mean the ones he hunted for sport, or tested the sharpness of his weapons against their skin, or even cut their hands off and made them wear them like a necklace round their necks? This was the era of the Spanish Inquisition, and even Spain thought he was a bit much. This feels like it's gone really heavy, really quickly. He wasn't all bad. He did do some pretty impressive things. I mean, he discovered America. Right? Right? Child, me neither. Either that or I miss class. One or the other. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Wow. Mm. See, if you go back in time and study these things and their characteristics, you will check out and see who's on the right side of history. Wow. Woo, child. Mm. I ain't know all that happened. Child, let me tell you something. Thank God for the pandemic, okay? Because, uh, <laughs> I tell you this, Google is our best friend. <laughs>